Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial that is designated for everyday wear. So this is a look that you can just throw on every single day and it's going to be very healing. It's not going to be too crazy or it's not going to be over the top. Um, although, believe it or not, this is whenever I wear this look, I get the most compliment compliments on. I think it's just so basic. It's something I just grab a few of my eyeshadows and throw it together. It's not something that I, I plan out. A lot of times when I'm doing like over the top dramatic looks, it takes a lot of thinking and a lot of like swatching and you know testing out before I feel comfortable pulling it off. But this is just a couple eyeshadows that I just grab out of my drawers and I'm good to go. So I want to bring this to you because I know a lot of looks I've been doing have been like very colorful. So this is very neutral for every single day. So anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching and don't forget to like and thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So anyway, we'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, I'm going to start off by reducing the oil on my skin and apply Benefits Porefessionals all over my face. This will just help mattify my skin and absorb that oil. Now taking CoverGirl's 3-in-1 foundation. Love this foundation, by the way. I'm just going to score a couple pumps on the back of my hand. And I usually don't do this, but I'm going to go ahead and dot that all over my face. I've kind of found with the F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush, um, by dotting it and then going in and blending it afterwards, I get a more flawless finish. Don't ask me why. <laughs> just in one of my experiments, I've kind of discovered this. So now I'm going to prime my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just apply that evenly all the way from my lid up to my brow bone. And now I'm taking Max Soft Brown and applying that with a fluffy brush in my upper crease to use it as a transition color. Now taking MAC Swish Chocolate, which is a mid-tone brown. It's matte and it's very warm. I'm going to apply that in my lower crease just to help warm that area up. And then just taking a blending brush, I'm just going to blend that into the soft brown color. That's the purpose of a um, transition color so you have other colors to blend into and that color I just flashed there was Max Yogurt but first I'm applying a little bit of Max Painterly to my eyelid because I want this color to stand out. You're going to pat and kind of swipe it across the lid not going past that lower crease. This is a pinky white color. It's not stark white but I'm going to apply that as my highlight as well. And now taking Max Sketch, this is a beautiful shade. It's a velvet finish, and I'm going to get that on a 217 brush and just kind of add that into my lower crease as well, just to define that and just add a little bit of color. It's like this really deep purplish brown shade, but it's it's so gorgeous. So I'm popping that right in there, and then just kind of blending it out into those other colors, so you have a nice transition and then just blending it some more so everything just fades nicely into each other. Now this looks a lot like MAC Sketch, but it's actually MAC Embark. This is a dark matte brown, and this is just going to help um, define that crease even more. And then I'm taking the Age Rewind um, by Maybelline, I believe, and then just blend that out under my eyes just to catch any fallout that may have occurred from applying my eyeshadows. And then I'm taking Maybelline Line Stiletto, 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 <laughs> and I'm going to just do a pretty thin thick wing where this is a neutral look I just want my eyes to really stand out so doing a more thicker wing will help achieve that look and now I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara which I am loving right now and applying that to my upper lashes and then I'm actually going to take some of that MAC sketch and apply that on my lower lash line just on the corners of my lower lash line though because I want my eyes to still appear very large I don't want to tie it um, make my eyes look smaller and then I can't then I, <laughs> I can't talk then I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes 
Now for my highlighter, I'm using Max Prep and Prime. I'm just going to do a couple streaks on my face and blend that out just to add some highlight to my face. It's very nice, subtle glow where it's so where it's like winter out. You don't and everything's bright. You don't want your face to be blinding. So this helps achieve a very natural glow. So here I'm just bronzing my cheekbones with my favorite Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and then I'm just doing it on the top of my forehead just to kind of bring in the look and have everything focused towards the center. This will help bring in my look even more. And then I'm um, dusting a little bit on the sides of my nose and on the tip. This isn't necessary or in a proper way, but it helps just add some, um, it just helps with contouring. And here I'm taking Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso. This has a beautiful coral pinky um, sheen to the cheeks, and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples and sweep up. And just kind of have it, it'll just kind of blend into the bronzer as well and just add some really nice um, color and depth to your face. Now for my lips, I'm just applying a chapstick. Pick your favorite. And I'm going in with Max Cream Cup. This was actually my very first MAC lipstick. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips to add a pinky glow to them. And just kind of um, blend it out with my fingers a little bit. Okay, and that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.